Okay, hi guys. In this video, I'll be talking to you about Friedel Crafts reactions, an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction that can create new carbon carbon bonds, a reaction that is fundamental to synthetic organic chemistry. So, this is the outline with what I'll be going th through with you in this video. First, I'll give a brief introduction to electrophilic aromatic substitution in order for you to understand exactly what this means. Then I'll give you some common examples of this reaction, which includes the Friedel Crafts alkylation and acylation, and then I'll go on to talk in more detail about these last two reactions. So what is electrophilic aromatic substitution? Well, firstly, we need to understand what is meant by aromaticity. So for this, we look to Huckel's rules. So his rules are the molecule must be cyclic, it must be planar, it must be fully conjugated, and it must have 4n plus 2 pi electrons. So the simple example, simplest example of this would be the benzene ring. So n here is the number of rings, so for benzene it is obviously 1. So 4n plus 2 is 6, benzene has 6 pi electrons, 1 for each carbon in the ring, in the plane of the ring, making it an electron-rich aromatic ring. The next thing we need to understand is the definition of an electrophile. So this word stems from electro and file, which literally means electron lover meaning that it is a molecule that is seeking electrons or it's something with a positive charge or vacant orbital that are ready to accept electrons. We denote this generically as E+. And finally, substitution simply means that the electrophile substitutes onto the benzene ring or the aromatic ring, sorry, replacing something else such as the proton. So here are a few examples of electrophilic aromatic substitution, halogenation, nitration, and sulfonation. So in each example, we see simply that the proton is being substituted by here a halogen, here a nitro group, and here a sulfonate group. And each uh, reaction requires an acidic catalyst to help it along its way. So now we'll move on to our first example of Friedel Crafts reactions, the alkylation. So as the name suggests, it is the substitution of an alkyl group onto an aromatic ring. The reaction is carried out using alkyl halides and a Lewis acid catalyst, just as I showed you in the previous examples. And this would be the generic reaction scheme. Now we'll go on to look at the mechanism. So, the mechanism comes in two steps. The first step is the generation of the electrophile. So, starting with the alkyl halide and the presence of the acidic catalyst, which we can draw as having a vacant orbital like this. Now, we get donation of these lone pair of electrons into this vacant orbital and it abstracts the halide. And it creates this zwitter ionic intermediate and now note here that for primary alkyl halides the primary carbocation that would be formed would remain at this stage as primary carbocations are not stable enough to exist by themselves however secondary and tertiary alkyl carbocations are relatively stable and can be written like this with a separate counter anion. So now that we have our electrophile, which is our carbocation that we just formed, the next step is substitution onto the benzene ring. So remember that I said before, benzene rings are electron rich due to the delocalized pi electrons in the ring. Therefore, the electrons are attracted to the electrophile and we get a nucleophilic attack, like so. So 
So now we have a carbocation transition state, but then this undergoes rearomatization by abstraction of the proton by the halide that was added to the acid catalyst, and then we get rearomatization of the ring. And as a result, we get an alkylated product. So just a few points to note about this reaction. The first one would be that the previous mechanism I showed you is not the only way that this reaction can be carried out. It just tends to be the most common. Starting materials other than alkyl halides can be used, such as alkenes, which can be written as RCH2 double bond CH2 R. Or we can also use alcohols, which can be written generically as ROH. Next point to note is that after the first alkylation, uh, the aromatic ring is now even more electron rich due to the donati donating effect of the alkyl group. So this becomes even more reactive to further alkylation. So an example would be toluene, which is simply benzene, which we can draw like so, and toluene has one alkyl group attached, like so. And this will have a donating effect into the ring. We can draw like this. And as a result, this is even more nucleophilic towards any carbocations that may be present. And finally, the final thing we have to note is that rearrangements of carbocations can lead to some undesired products and we'll now look at how this can happen. So first of all we'll just look at this simple example of a reaction. So as before we get attack of the, the acid catalyst and it creates our intermediate as shown which can split into the ion pair and here we have a secondary carbocation. However, we can get what is known as a 1-2 hydride shift, where the proton here shifts across to here, leaving the carbocation on this other carbon, which is now a tertiary carbocation, which is more stable due to the presence of more donating groups around the carbon compared to in this example where there is a hydrogen. Okay, now we'll move on to the second type of Friedel-Crafts reactions, the acylation. So, as the name suggests, it is the transfer of an acyl group onto an aromatic ring. And it involves the treatment of an aromatic reagent with an acid chloride and a Lewis acid catalyst. And the product is a ketone. And this is the generic reaction scheme. So again, let's look at the mechanism. This is very similar to the alkylation that we saw before. First step is generation of the electrophile by abstraction of the halide by the acid catalyst. We then form our intermediate as shown. And then this can dissociate again into the pair like this. And note here also that this carbocation is resonance stabilized by these lone pairs which can donate backwards into the double bond, giving us this as a result. However, the reactive species that we are interested in is this one. This is the one that will be reactive. So just as before, the next step is addition to the benzene ring. So again, we get nucleophilic attack from the benzene ring towards the carbocation. And we get an intermediate step. And again, we get abstraction of the proton by the halogen. Sorry. We also get rearomatization of the ring, losing HCl. And we get our acylated product. 
So, a few more points to note about this reaction. Again, acid chloride doesn't have to be the only starting material. We can also use acid anhydride, which comes in the form as shown like this. Double bond O and double bond O. Another point to note is that the acid catalyst can start to form a complex with the product as it is being formed in the reaction. So in order to avoid this, we can add water, which causes three equivalents of hydrochloric acid gas to be lost, and it actually transforms what we thought was a catalyst. So strictly, in terms of this reaction, the acid chloride would not be a catalyst as it is transformed and used up at the end of the reaction. So, in summary, we saw that friedel crafts reactions are a particularly useful type of electrophilic aromatic substitution for creating new carbon-carbon bonds, a fundamental reaction in synthetic organic chemistry. The two reactions involved are alkylation and acylation of aromatic rings. A Lewis acid catalyst is required for the reaction. And the reaction involves two steps, electrophile generation and substitution onto the aromatic ring. And that brings me to the end of my video. Thank you for watching.